have you ever wondered about how the refueling of ship is done? The refueling process of a ship is called bunkering. In this video, we shall have an overlook of bunkering operations at sea. Usually, a ship takes bunker when it is at anchorage. A smaller ship, usually known as a bunker barge, supplies the required quantity of fuel to your ship. The bunker barge will have its own cargo pump, hoses, and other gears required for bunkering fuel to your ship. The bunker barge hose gets connected to your ship's bunker manifold as shown in the video. Prior to commencement of bunkering, let's have a look into the safety aspects. Ensure the scupper plugs are in place, so in case of an oil spill on deck, it doesn't go overboard. Keep the soap-up equipment standby near your bunker manifold. Also keep the warning signs. A fire extinguisher should be readily available at your bunker manifold. Have a proper communication and agree upon the emergency signals with the bunker barge personnel. Take fresh bunker in only empty tanks so as to avoid mixing of fuel. If required, do the internal transfers and make the tank empty. Your ship will have a bunker manifold at both port and starboard side which has common pipeline leading to your bunker tanks. Bunker manifold consists of manifold valve, manifold pressure gauge, sampling cork, as shown in the diagram. Prior to the commencement of bunkering, you will have to set up the walls of the tanks and manifold as shown in the video. When you are ready, inform the bunkering barge. Commence bunkering with agreed discharge pressure. It is always recommended to keep the manifold pressure low initially and to increase later on. Here we will be bunkering two empty tanks, each with 500 meter cube of HFO. Once the bunkering is started, keep a proper lookout on bunker manifold for any leaks and also monitor the manifold pressure. If there is any leak or pressure rise, immediately pass the signal to stop bunkering to the barge people. During bunkering, take continuous counting of both the tanks to ensure the fuel is filling up. After 15 minutes of bunkering, when the pressure is steady, you can start filling one tank only and close the valve of the other. But take the sounding of both the tanks to ensure that the valve is holding. During the period of bunkering, you have to collect sample by drip method from the sampling cock so that you have a mixture of fuel sample received from the bunker pouch. Once you have reached 490 meter cube of starboard tank, open the valve for the port side tank and start closing valve for starboard tank so that you can fill up the starboard up to 500 meter cube by the time you close it without overfilling. You should never fill more than 85 to 90 percent of total tank capacity so as to provide space for free flow of fuel without overflowing when the ship is rolling or even when the ship is listed. Always keep an eye on the vent heads for any overflow. When the bunker barge cargo tank is almost empty, they will start stripping the tank to discharge the remaining fuel. Once stripping is done, they will blow air through the line to clear the fuel in the line to the bunker tank. Before blow through of line, ensure the caps of sounding cocks are in place and fuel is not overflowing from the vent heads when they are doing the blow through. Once bunkering is completed, take the soundings again and confirm the agreed quantity is received. Once you confirm that the agreed quantity is received, you can disconnect the hose from the bunker manifold and the bunker barge can leave after completion of formalities. The sample you have collected has to be shaken well and transferred into four different bottles. The bottles are allocated as follows. Sample 1 is for the lab analysis, sample 2 is for the ship, sample 3 is for the bunker barge, and sample 4 is for Marpo. I hope now you have understood how bunkering is done for a ship. Thank you.